This video will show you how to do an author search in Scopus and use the tools to view profiles and look at the research impacts of authors. To search for authors, click on the Authors tab and then enter the last name and first name. You can also enter the affiliation if you have it or the ORCID ID. So I get one result for Megan Oakleaf. There are 23 documents indexed in Scopus written by her. Here are her subject areas and her current affiliation. So I know that this is the right person. I can click on her name to view her author profile. And here I have a lot of information. Again, the number of documents, which have been cited 381 times, um, at least in Scopus, her H index. Here are those 23 documents listed below with links to full text, the number of citations out to the right. You can also analyze author output visually. So I can see her documents by source. Let's look at the H index for a second and I'll explain how this works. So again, she's got 23 documents indexed in Scopus. One of those documents has been cited 75 times. 10 of her documents have been cited at least 10 times. So that's the ratio that gives you the H index. And then there are some other, uh, other tabs here. Let me go back to the author page. You can choose to follow the author and receive emails when the author publishes something new, or you can set citation alerts to get an email whenever um, someone cites this author. Let me go back again and just do one more author search. So if you're searching for yourself and you've ever published under um, different names, you just need to be sure to try all variations. So if I search for Jenny Mills, there are two results, but neither one of these are me. If I go back, and I actually had to play around with this for a little while, it's kind of an odd way to enter my name, but I found myself under Jenny Rushing Mills. So this is me, Social Sciences Belmont, one document under that name. I actually have another document indexed in Scopus, and it's indexed under just Jenny Rushing. So I would want to merge uh, those my author names so that my profile is up-to-date and accurate. So just be sure to check all variations of the author names whenever you're searching for those.